It all began with the doll's house. An exhibition of Titania's Palace raised £1,520 for a group of Rotarians to support crippled children. The children's hospital didn't provide support services to meet their needs. In 1938, the Western Australian Society for Crippled Children was born. Our first job was to count cases and identify conditions. World War II didn't help, but we began operating again in earnest in 1945. We opened play centres in Kings Park, West Perth and Bunbury. Polio was rife and by 1950 we had 560 children registered. We had a school to go to. In 1952, Lucy Creeth gave us her home as a gift in her work. The Lucy Creeth Hospital opened in 1953. Through the 60s and 70s the prevalence of muscular dystrophy increased. We pioneered operations and physiotherapy to straighten backs and to extend lives. Boys became old boys, and as there were no adult service providers, we kept them on. Our occupational therapy team helped people with disabilities find work. With over 40 residents, space at Lucy Creek was minimal and there was no privacy. So in 1979 it was time to move to the bigger premises at McCabe Street in Rocky Bay. 56 people moved from dorms to shared rooms, two people per room. Recreation became an important focus. We hosted the National Junior Games for the Disabled and National Electric Wheelchair Sports Finals. And fundraising became a high profile activity. The Disability Service Act in 1986 caused a shift change for service providers. People with disability have as much right as anyone to live a normal, independent life. People who were once inmates and then patients are now referred to as clients. And the name Western Australian Society for Crippled Children was no longer appropriate. We developed school aged therapy, employment services and the Get About Leisure Programme. And many adults moved into community housing and by 1997 we had a fleet of 20 vans. By 2000, Rocky Bay supported over 700 clients. In the 10 years we've grown to more than four times the size with clients of all ages and support any disability, whether physical or intellectual. 